something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Far Point Farms. Check it out. Fisher. That's not a brand I'm familiar with with Harbor Freight, but that's the brand of the mower lift that I picked up from Harbor Freight. So here it is. And this is, uh, so they have two different types, right? They have a smaller one that's really good at lifting up riding mowers and smaller garden tractors. Then they have this one. This one is also really capable of doing zero turns. It's also capable of working on ATVs. And it has a four wheel lift function, so it's a little different. And so what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna unbox it, we'll assemble whatever needs to be assembled. And then later on in the fall, I've got an ATV outside that I'm working on. And it's actually gonna be fixed up and, and gonna become part of what I drive around here. So this is gonna hopefully be a big part of helping it out. And so this is like the lift for the studio. And um, it got okay reviews online. Some people saying that it wasn't um, able to fit every single mower that they worked on, but it says ATV, yard tractor, golf cart, mower, utility vehicle, and service vehicle. So according to it, it's capable of doing all that. Now I bought this thing about three months ago when it was on sale. And uh, of course, the way things are now, prices and all the rest, I won't even bother to tell you what I paid for it. But what I will say is when I moved it from the bottom building up here, it sounded like there might be something living in it. So it might be a little bit of a surprise coming to me when I take this thing and open it up, but hopefully, oh boy. Okay, so I don't see any critters in here, but maybe they're a little deeper. Definitely, definitely looks like a lot of assembly required. So I guess we'll go ahead and take everything out and get the box out of the way. Here we have our instruction manual and we'll get everything laid out and we'll figure out how to go ahead and assemble all this. Well, here it is all laid out. There's actually, I'm a little surprised. Harbor Freight usually, uh, you know, assembly wise, they're going to have this stuff and it's going to be fairly straightforward and maybe it will be, but there's a lot of variations. These all look the same initially, then that one is not. Those bolts look the same initially, they're not. The pins look the same initially, they're not. There's a lot of variation, so it's gonna be important to pay attention or we'll end up having to disassemble this, which I guess is not the end of the world here. Instruction-wise, it's got a 90-day warranty, it says on it, and it's 15 pages. They do have a parts list, which is nice, but uh, assembly-wise, it's really, a little vague. I mean, it's got some 3D black and white photos that we're going to be going off of. But there's quite a few parts. I was really surprised at how much assembly is required on this particular model. And I guess if you're going to try to stuff into a small box, you kind of got to. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to turn this around. We'll do that just so we're assembling it step by step, just like they do. Hopefully this will help out somebody in the future who buys this. And then we're going to be taking this piece right here and we're going to slide it down into this bracket like so. That's going to slide down and it's going to sit like that. And that'll be our first attachments it looks like. Get down on the ground here. I've had some knee issues so I might be sitting in some awkward positions this go around here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. With that piece on there, I've got the only tools I'm actually going to need, 19 and a 17, I also have a 19 wrench as well, but we've got that laid in there. And it's showing bolts that are gonna come through here and hold this piece to this piece. Flat washer, lock washer, then nut. I'll use my three quarter to hold things in place and I'll tighten it down. Nice, okay, do the same with the other side here. All right, once those two bolts are in, let's go ahead and see what comes next. Okay, so these crossbars here that we have, we have two of them. They're going to attach, there's a hole down here we're gonna bolt it to, and up here, we're gonna have it like that, right? And up here, there's a big cotter, uh, sleeve pin we're gonna put through here. So 
I'll go ahead and get these bolts started on the bottom first. Okay, so we have this piece here, which has cotter pins and washers on both ends. It's also the only bar that has a reduced end there. And we have this piece. And this piece is going to slip down inside here. This piece and this piece have to go together. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. So a giant pain in the butt, but doable. And I'll just go around here and attach quite a bit of assembly grease on this. I'm gonna attach the cotter pin here and here. Okay, it looks like the next thing we're gonna do is install this here, which is our lift for, that's where our long pieces are gonna go. And we've got a cross pin and a bolt that's gonna hold that in place. So this is removable. If you don't want this to uh, take up all the room in your garage, you can actually take this out and just use it as a conventional jack there. Okay. Then we've got these two beauties. And let's see here, they go like this. And these are adjustable for uh, how wide your track is. set it up yeah probably set it up a little bit towards the inside like that towards the inside yeah, like that okay and then you've got <clears throat> these two pieces right here which are just drop pins to keep them from sliding around on you once you've picked your spot cool All right. lastly you have these pieces here, they're gonna come across. So depending on your wheel size, you can figure out where you wanna grip. For right now, I'm just gonna throw these in the farthest forward position, but that's gonna hold that, you know, in the, in the reg there. All right, let's turn this thing around. Here we are looking at it from the just back. Just got a few things left to put on here. All right, we have this piece right here, and that's gonna slide down. There's actually a bracket here. And then we have this, which is gonna hold it in place on either side. So it's kind of a pivoting point there. So I'll go ahead and remove one of those clips. M1 washer. Slide that through. Attach my cotter pin and my washer on this side. Okay, all right, now that's in there. There's another one, a smaller one up here that you can't see very well, but I'm gonna do the same thing. I've got to release the links here. So once you've got the uh, pivot points installed, and I'll be honest, that I don't know how much I'm gonna not edit out of there, but it's kind of a pain in the butt there, to be honest with you. We've got our two tires and our handle to carry this thing around. So there's not a lot left. All right, there you go in there. And they just got a lock washer for these. No, no, no nut and lock washer, just a, a locking nut. So I'll put that on there, tighten that down. Do the same for the other side. And we're down to it. These two are 17s. And here it is. Push your foot down there and you can roll it around the shop if you need to, turn it around or whatnot. Put your foot on that and lower it back down. One pedal pumps it up and we'll go all the way to the top to see just what height it has. And you can see, oops, there are locks. So it does have, here, click there, 
and you can see them clicking in and clicking out. So there are locks to help you in the event of a hydraulic failure. So it, it is a pretty safe looking piece of machinery. It certainly is heavy. And it does recommend, what I'm doing right now is it's at its full height, but I'm bleeding it out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so if I wanted to work underneath this thing, certainly I could get right up under here and, and do it. Now, if you want to use this for lifting ATVs, and, uh, the, all four wheels off the ground, you can. You take this center bar out, and then you just have this portion here. You're going to straddle it and lift it up that way. Front wheels, rear wheels. That's how that would work. To lower it, you're just pressing. You probably got to flip up your safeties. And then you press this button here, and slowly she comes down. Yeah. So, um, adjustments. These slide in and out, or can be removed, like I said. And we have different height positions. Of course, you want to make sure your safeties are down. And I like it. Um, as far as putting it away, you could roll this thing up, put it up, if you want to remove this. It wouldn't take a whole lot of room, and that's probably exactly what I'm going to do, is have that thing sitting about like that, up against the wall. And you think about it, right? Your thickness would just be that. You take your uh, arm and you put it here. You could even get it even more narrow and take off the whole bar here and stack it upright. So it doesn't take up a ton of room when not in use. And of course, this is a pretty good sized building, but it's not the greatest. It's not a huge building. So uh, when I'm not using it for mower repairs or restorations or whatnot, then I probably will have it in the upright position, just keeping it out of trouble. Well, I will say it was a little more difficult than I thought to put together. That being said, it still only took about 30 minutes in real time. And that was mostly me just trying to figure out uh, how to get up off the ground and back down on it. I'm definitely feeling my age these days. And if you're like me, something like this, once it's built, it's certainly going to help with that because now I don't have to lay flat on the ground. I can crawl around. I can use my little roll, care, cart, uh, roll chair here and help rotate around and whatnot. That'll do it for today, my friends. Take care.